My name's Gavin from Manchester Video and in this quick explainer video I'm going to show how to get footage from the Mevo camera, which is over to my left, into OBS Studio using a piece of software called GoPro to OBS. Now, I've previously done a video about how to use the Mist server. Uh, that was quite tricky for some people to set up. It's free, so Mist server is completely free. You don't have to pay for it for sort of using it as a as a hobby type thing. But uh, GoPro to OBS is a chargeable app, although there is a 12 day trial and it is worth you uh, using it, doing the trial, making sure it's going to work for you. So I'm going to show you how to get the footage into OBS. So currently I've got a Logitech C120 uh, plugged into my laptop, which is what you're looking at now. Uh, there's no audio delay set up and it's set at 1080p 30. So we're going to look at how to start off with GoPro to OBS. So we'll minimize OBS here. So the website is GoPro to OBS.com. Now just something to bear in mind, this website doesn't have an SSL. Uh, the software is written by a chap called Michael Garanin. He's written other um, RTMP server type applications, including RTMP mini server. Um, and it's Michael Garanin's app. Now, the website is not SSL uh, certificated. So if you go on it in Chrome, it'll tell you there's something wrong. It's not secure. You need to make a decision whether or not you want to go to the website based on that. However, down the bottom, you can download um, GoPro to OBS. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, you will get an app icon on your desktop, GoPro to OBS. So if we open this, uh, there's a few options here and I'll go from top to bottom. So the first item listed is the IP address uh, that you need to enter into into the uh, Mevo. So the address here 192.168.8.212 and the number on the right there is the port ID which is 1935 and here this drop down selector um, from what I can gather just determines what happens if we change that to Mevo if you click the word guide. Now there are tutorials in place if you click guide for the GoPro so this is this app's primarily a GoPro app but it does work with Mevo so this tells you how to to get the software working with with the GoPro but when you change the drop down to Mevo and click guide um, you don't get anything there's no documentation yet so not much to go on for the Mevo. Uh, what happens if you click other? Let's try that. No, nothing there either. So I'm going to show you how it works with the Mevo, how I did it. Uh, it should be more or less the same for yourselves. It's a bit simpler than using the Mist server because you don't have to go into your router and find out um, IP addresses for the Mevo and IP addresses for the um, the computer that you're on. This this app simplifies all that. And what GoPro to OBS does is a virtual webcam driver. So the receiving side, which is the IP address here, is the RTMP mini server, and the output side is a virtual webcam in Windows. So what we need to do is turn on. Uh, GoPro to OBS with this button here and I'll go through what the others do in a minute so once that's up and running you need to go to your Mevo and enter RTMP uh, as, as your destination so we shall quickly go into the Mevo so I've added uh, an RTMP destination you click record click RTMP it will give you uh, an empty RTMP address and I've entered everything that you see on screen I've entered GoPro to OBS as my um, my server name 
just for simplicity, I've entered the stream URL uh, as the IP address that's shown on, on the bottom here, so it, where it says uh, RTMP 192.168.212, there's a couple of at symbols with forward slashes at the end. You need to put all that in. Now, Amiibo wants a stream key. It seems to work with anything, but for simplicity, I've entered uh, 1935, which is the port ID. It doesn't really seem to matter if you get that wrong, so I don't think it matters, but the Amiibo wants something in there. So it does make sense just to put uh, put the port ID in. Okay, so once that's in, you can press go live on the Mevo. You can choose 1080 or 720 as your stream res. I'm using 1080, so we press go. So now I'm sending a stream from my Mevo, and any minute now, GoPro to OBS is going to receive that stream, and it's telling me there that there's a bit of latency. If I click the preview button here, it's going to open a little preview window. Let's move it to the side so we can see it. You'll notice that the latency figure is just climbing and climbing, which is this one here, the V2466 at the moment, and it just keeps going up. Um, but there's no preview. Now, I know there's a clear buffer button, which I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to do. Give it a few clicks. Nothing seems to happen. However, if you toggle the on button off and back on again, if we turn it off, turn it back on, when it resumes, I get a preview. So I'm not sure if that's just my network. Um, I've got a very simple network set up for this, and it's all hardwired. So there we go. Now we get the picture. So the picture on the left in the preview window is what's coming from my Mevo. So I can go wide, which then comes out there. I can go down to the iPad, which is there, and back to me. So what we need to do next is get this into OBS. So I'm going to turn the preview off. I'm going to minimize GoPro to OBS. I'm going to open OBS. Now, I've already got OBS open um, so that I can show you how this works. So um, this is actually the picture from my uh, Logitech webcam. There's no audio delay set up. These Logitechs are USB 2 devices. There probably is a bit of latency, but I haven't put any kind of offset in. It's just a, a lapel mic going straight into the laptop. Okay, so that's our uh, webcam, the Logitech C920. I'm going to leave that graphic on so we know what it is. So I've got a scene set up here right, for the Mevo. So I'm going to add the Mevo camera. So the way that we do that, click the plus symbol, add a video capture device. And I've already here set this up as um, a webcam. So if I click OK, that is actually the picture from my webcam. Bear with me. There we go. Yeah, that's my webcam. Uh, sorry, my Mevo camera. But what you'll notice is that the audio is quite far out of sync. Um, let's just rearrange the order of these so that we can see. There we go. Mevo camera in OBS. There's quite a bit of difference in the sync. It's about three quarters of a second. So. And I measured this, I worked it out, I did a recording, played it back earlier. So what we need to do is go into the advanced audio properties, pick the mic input, which is here, change that to 700. There we go. And hopefully, if I do that now, I'm in sync and I can do all the things I would normally do inside the Mevo. So I'll just show you, as I know I missed that bit out. All I've done is added GoPro to OBS there. So that's what it pops up as, as a webcam. And I've actually got it left on device default, um, which is 
in this case 1080p30. I haven't been into any of the other settings. All I do is add GoPro to OBS, which is a virtual webcam. And there it is. So as long as you get that preview working up front, uh, bear with me. Yeah, as long as you get that preview working in GoPro to OBS before you start to look at OBS itself, then you should be able to add it into OBS as a webcam. Um, so you can do all the things you normally do in OBS. You can play out videos, you can bring lower thirds on and off. Um, what will happen though, if you bring in two cameras at the same time, which is what we're doing here, you'll notice that the sync on the, the Mevo should be correct because we've got, and I'll just make sure we've still got it everywhere. There we go. We've got our 700 millisecond delay on the microphone input. Um, but everything else will be a bit out. So you can see now if I clap, the C920 is about a second or thereabouts, maybe three quarters of a second ahead of the Mevo. Uh, and that's just because of latency. There's not a lot you can do about that. Um, but we can swap the Mevo around in there. So what this might be useful for, if that was a play out in the other camera, uh, so instead of the C920 being there, you could have a picture in picture of graphics, that kind of thing, something else uh, that, you, that you're interested in or to show on your stream, a video that you might want to play back. Um, they should play back okay. You just need to bear in mind there's a little bit of latency going on. It's a lot less than the latency uh, that there was in our TMP mini server because there was quite a bit of latency in that. And I know Michael Garanin, the writer of GoPro to OBS, um, has got the latency down quite a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm very pleased to see that because it makes it much more, much more friendly, much more usable. The reason I'm taking the audio straight into the laptop is when I send audio into the Mevo, and, and that's either using the Mevo's own camera, uh, audio itself, the microphone that's built in, or using a USB device plugged into the Mevo and the Mevo Boost, um, we tended to find the audio was distorted and it, and it wasn't terribly reliable. Now that could be my network. It's a very, very simple network. I've got a small router with a it's, it's not a bad router, it's, um, it's got a bit of memory in it, and I've got a five port switch, but there's only the Mevo one laptop and this iPad connected to it. So um, that's it really, it's dead simple to set up. It's a lot easier than a Mist server, uh, which is a bit tricky for some people. We do get a lot of questions about that. Now OBS uh, is free but GoPro to OBS is not a free app. Um, there is a free trial, a 12 day trial. And I would say, if you wanna give it a go, use the trial, use it extensively, use it in the environment that you intend to use the Mevo in. These things may give variable results. I think it is very much dependent on your network. I wouldn't like to try this on Wi-Fi. I'm using it all on Ethernet. The Mevo is connected by Ethernet. The laptop's connected by Ethernet and they're both on the same switch. So the data is only going through that switch. Um, the iPad is the only thing that's on Wi-Fi, but it's using the hotspot created by the Mevo. That's how the Mevo works. When it's in boost mode, it, it creates a hotspot for you to control it with over Wi-Fi. Um, so, Get the trial, play with it, make sure it's gonna do what you want. Have a really, really good um, burning test. Make the most of the trial period. And there is something else to bear in mind. I'm recording this during the lockdown period in at the very end of March, 2020. And that is that um, Mevo themselves are going to be launching a webcam driver. Now, it's a bit unusual. They say it's a wireless webcam driver. They've been liaising with Zoom, the video conferencing people, to see if they can make it work. When it's available, it will be available for the Mevo Plus and the new Mevo Start. Now, the thing is, if they say it's a wireless webcam driver, I'm not sure why 
it's going to be like that or how that's going to work. I'm guessing it's just going to be like any other network camera. And my experience is that those inherently have a delay. Even if you use Mevo's own software, or it's now been bought by Vimeo, which is a live stream studio software, and there is a delay, the Mevo's come in later, um, so you have to slow everything else down to match up with the Mevo's. So in summary, uh, we've looked at how to get GoPro to OBS um, to send a feed that has a virtual webcam that, that OBS will find. Um, other apps that support webcams may not see GoPro to OBS as a valid input. Um, I've tried it with Zoom and I've tried it with Skype. Zoom shows me it as available input, but it doesn't actually let me see a picture. You select it, there's just a gray screen. Uh, Skype doesn't show me anything. It doesn't even give me that option as, as a webcam. Uh, there is a workaround. You can send NDI from the app, uh, which then you can use the new tech virtual webcam driver, and then that does work in Zoom. Um, I haven't tried it in Skype. The author of GoPro 12 BS sent me a screenshot saying that he can get it to work inside um, Zoom. He's got GoPro 12 BS to come in. I haven't managed that myself. Um, I'm not sure why. Again, it could be down to my network. It could be a firewall thing or it could be a port issue. I really don't know, but I can't get GoPro to OBS to work on this specific laptop. And right now I don't have a big choice of computers to try things on. Um, so I'm stuck with what I've got at home. So hopefully that was useful. Hopefully it was interesting and hopefully you'll find it um, useful to you, uh, particularly during the period of lockdown so that you can make a bit better use of the Mevo that you've already got.